Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to do this really cute loop at the top of your wall hanging. Here, I've tried it a few times. I have other wall hangings that I've done, but these are just the two that I had on my wall. So yeah, those. this is what it ends up looking like. I use this to end off every single one of my wall hangings. I think it turns out so cute. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it, I guess. <laughs> So this is the wall hanging that I'll be using for my example. It's this really cute good vibes wall hanging. What you need to have, of course, are scissors. Also, you need to know how to do a lark's head knot. But, I mean, if you've done the top part of the wall hanging, then you should know how to do a lark's head knot because that's what it is. And you will need the colors that you used in your bracelet. I have these six main colors, but I all of these together would be too many, like the twisted tie would turn out too big. So what I'm gonna do is take out the yellow and the light blue and just leave it to these because that's what I did on the things, the square knots. And you're gonna cut these strings. I cut them around eight to 12 inches. I don't really know. I just kind of estimate it every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. And I also make sure to fold them in half and cut them so then we can do a lark's head knot onto your bracelet. So there should be a little loop there. Okay, so I have all my strings cut. Now what we're going to do is attach all of our little loops together. So we cut four strings and we should, since they're folded in half, we should have eight strings. I mean, I'm assuming if you're making a wall hanging, you probably know how to do twisted ties or are comfortable with it. Also, if you don't know how to do twisted ties, you can just do a simple braid or a fishtail braid. It's up to you. I just do a twisted tie at the top. So now I have all of my colors together. I'm just going to, on the very, on this, on the right side, I'm going to do a lark's head knot to attach them. So now all of your strings are together and on your wall hanging. So I'm going to tape it down. You won't be able to see my whole wall hanging, but I'm going to just tape it down. So I have it taped down and now I need to take my strings and I have one of each color on each side. So I should have four strings on each side and I'm just going to do a twisted tie to my desired length. I'll tell you how long I have it once I have it done because I generally just kind of do it and then measure it. I don't know, I don't really have a set measurement. <laughs> Okay, so I have my twisted tie done. I made mine around six and a half inches long, and which is around a half inch longer than what I wanted it to be, just because when you do tie this up, it takes some of the length off of your string. I am not wasting this tape, by the way. I'll reuse it. <laughs> that one I'm gonna waste because it stuck to itself, but now I turn the wall hanging over and you can see, oh, you can see the loop. So you wanna take your two strings and put one on either side of the wall hanging. So let me hold this, like either side. Now, here you're gonna tie a knot. I don't really know what this knot is called. I mean, it's like a forward knot basically. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to tie it with one hand, but it's, a little difficult. So now you just want to tighten that knot onto your wall hanging. And you just got to do this very carefully 
so you don't mess anything up. And I generally leave this knot pretty loose so it doesn't make any length come off of my twisted tie up at the top. Also, if you don't like the way the color order is or how the colors look together, you can always cut this off and restart. It doesn't really matter. This is very forgiving, unlike the wall hanging, but yeah. So now you should have this tied on by a little knot. I don't know. That's how it should look. And you should have one string going up and one string going down. And if you know how to tie your shoes, this will be easy for you because I'm not, I don't tie any really fancy bow. I just tie it the way I tie my shoes. So I do a little loop here. This is difficult to explain. How do parents teach their children to do this? A little loop here. Then I wrap it around, wrap my string around that loop. And then there should be another loop right in there. And I just put my string in. If that makes sense. I mean, most people know how to tie their shoes. And then I pull the string however I want my bow to look. First, I make sure it's pretty tight on there. And then... I just kind of fix the bow up. So see how this side's really big? I just pull it in. And also this, it always freaks me out when I do this because I don't want it to come undone. But if you take some nail polish, like this one's hard as a rock because I covered it in nail polish. So is this one, like it's super hard. But I do recommend doing that. Some kind of tacky glue, nail polish, something to help make it stronger. And then the strings just kind of go at that right angle. And basically that's it. You cut your strings off. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me see if this is how I want my bow first. Okay, I'm gonna give my bow one last tug. And first I'm gonna put nail polish on it. I use the Sally Hansen double duty base and top coat. I don't use this to paint my nails. I just, is the cheapest one that I could find at Walmart. So I'm just going to lather that on basically. Make sure not to get it on your wall hanging though because that would kind of suck. I've done that before. <laughs> of course I have. And then I wanna go in and put nail polish on this side and just mainly put it right in that main knot you made because that's where you don't want it to come undone and then you can take your scissors and cut each side cut that side a little bit shorter so let me and that's it like that's how i make the bow on my wall hangings i think this looks really cute i use it on as, as i said in the beginning i use this on every single one of my wall hangings that i ever make and i hope this video is helpful it might have been a little bit confusing it was more of a visual tutorial rather than talking because that's really all you can do. Another option to attach the strings is doing an individual lark's head knot. That's what I did here, but I like this more. I just think it looks neater, I guess. I don't know. But that is it. So now I'm going to show you the wall hanging on my wall. Okay, so I have my wall hanging hung up on my wall. Here's my other one. And this is how the bow looks up on your wall. There's a rose. Um, ignore the dog hair there. But I think it looks really cute. And let, if you make this, tag me on Instagram because I would love to see all of your creations using this. And I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!